Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in this video, I will show you how to add a table of contents into your WordPress site. A table of contents added to your posts or pages help users navigate your content because instead of having to read a whole blog post, a user can skim the titles at the top and then jump to a specific section just by clicking on the title. And a table of contents can also help with SEO. So in this video, I will show you five plugins you can use to add a table of contents into your WordPress site. And I do apologize, I will be saying table of contents a lot in this video. So if you like, count how many times I say it and then just add in a comment below. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first plugin we'll look at is called Easy Table of Contents. And here is the plugin page and if you want to get access to this page, click on the link below the video or just search for easy table of content. So let's jump to our WordPress site. And this is a vanilla WordPress site. The only thing I've done is I have created, um, well, no, sorry. I used this hello world um, post and I just added in some extra content. And I also added in a few H2s and a few H3s. So let's go back to plugins and let's click on add a new and I will throw in this URL. And then let's click on install now. So this is for easy table of contents and let's activate it. And then click on settings for the plugin. And you can also access the settings by clicking on settings and then clicking on table of contents. From the general section, you can enable table of contents for specific post types. You can see by default, it is switched on for pages, but let's switch it on for uh, post, and then you can also configure the auto insert. That means that table of contents will be automatically added. I like to actually switch it on for individual posts, but that's just my preference. And then further down, you have the position. This is where the table of contents will be added. So you have um, before, before first heading, after first heading, top, Bottom, I like to leave it at before first heading because it's the default. Then below position, you have the show when option. This specifies when the table of contents should be shown. By default, it's set to four. And this means that it will only be shown if there are four or more headings. If you only have three headings and you have enabled a table of contents, it still won't be shown. So, if your posts have one or two or three headings, you may wanna change these settings. And then further down, you can change the label of the table of contents. It can be called content, talk, table of content, whatever you want. And then further down, you can change the appearance. And then you have some advanced options down here. So let's make sure post is checked and then scroll down and click on save changes. Now let's go to post and edit our hello world. And if we scroll all the way down, we should see this table of contents panel and let's check insert table of contents. And then here we can actually override the advanced settings just for this page. Normally I don't touch any of this, but you can override it if you want. And let's just leave everything as it is. Make sure insert table of contents is checked and then click on update. And then if we go and view our post, you can see our table of contents right here. We can collapse it and we can also jump to each section. The next plugin that we'll look at is called Table of Contents Plus. And if you want to view this plugin page, grab the link below this video or just Google Table of Contents Plus. And what I'll do is I'll jump back to my WordPress site and let's click on Add New and I will search for this plugin and then I'll go ahead and install it and let's activate it. Then click on settings and then talk plus below there. And from here, we can control the settings for the plugin. And the first thing we'll do is let's auto insert it to post. And then you can also change similar things like the other plugin, you can change the title, you can change the look and feel. And then if you click on show in the advanced section, you can change some advanced settings these settings look very similar to the easy, what, what, what was the previous one? Easy table of contents. Um, so you can change the same settings. Anyway, let's just make sure that auto insert has 
post checked, and then let's click on update options. You can also configure some sitemap options right here. Once you have the plugin configured, let's go to post and let's edit the post. And the first thing you'll notice is that we don't have actual settings for the table of contents. We can't hide it or disable it and we cannot uh, change any options. With this plugin, the table of contents is automatically inserted. So let's click on permalinks and go directly to the post. And here you can see that the table of contents is displayed. Now, if you wanna hide the table of contents just for this specific post, you have to use a short code. So let's just close this and let's go back to our editor and let me scroll all the way down. And what I'll do is because I'm using Gutenberg, I will search for the short code block. And all you need to do is add in this short code, no underscore TOC, and then update. And then if we view our post, we can see that the table of contents is no longer visible. The next plugin we'll take a look at is called Lucky WP Table of Contents. And if you want to view the plugin page, grab the link below the video, or just, again, as I always say, just Google the name. So let's go ahead and install this plugin. So what I'll do is I'll go to plugins, and then I will search for it. And let me go ahead and install it. And I'll activate it straight away. And then let's go and click on settings. From the general tab, you can control basic things like the title, the labels, and also the scroll behavior. From appearance, you can of course change the appearance, the colors, the font sizes, auto insert if it should be auto inserted or not. And then from process, from processing headings, you can you can switch it on for specific post types. Let me switch it on for post and then click on save changes. And then also from miscellaneous, you can change a few other things as well. So let's go to post and then let's edit our post. And if we scroll down on the panel in the right, here you can see we have a table of contents option. So click on enable talk, and this will enable it just for this page. And then if we click on update, and then view post, we can see our table of contents. Simple. Let's go back to our post. And if we go back to the table of contents section and click on customize, we can now go ahead and customize the settings just for this page. This will override the default settings for this page. So we could change the title from contents to table of contents. Click on save and update. And then if we view our post, we can see our updated label, which is now table of contents. At this point, we have looked at three plugins that offer specific table of contents functionality. Now I wanna show you how to add a table of contents using just a Gutenberg block. And the first plugin we'll look at is called Ultimate Blocks. This plugin just ships a whole library of Gutenberg blocks. And one of the blocks is a table of contents. So let's go ahead and download this plugin. So I'll go back to my WordPress site and click on add new. And let me search for this plugin and I will install it and then I will activate it. And then when you activate it, you are redirected to the settings page. Let's manage blocks. It's gonna ask you to collect some important information, always skip that. And then if you click on manage blocks and here you can see all of the blocks are enabled. Make sure table of contents is enabled because it is that block which we'll look at. Let's go to post and edit our hello world page. And because this is just a block, all we need to do is hit enter, type in slash and then table, select table of contents with the red icon. Then we can add in an optional title, which is table of contents. And from the right column, we can modify the block. So we can specify exactly which headings will be displayed. And then we can also control the scroll settings. So let's go ahead and click on update. 
And then if we click on view post, we can see our table of contents, but let's go back and edit the post. And another cool thing you can do is you can hide the headings from the table of contents just by clicking on this eye icon. So this will hide it. And you can also change the title of the post just for the table of contents. So if you want to change this user profiles title, you can change it just for the table of contents, which is very useful. The last plugin we'll look at is called Gutenberg Blocks Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. Similar to Ultimate Blocks, which we looked at previously, this plugin ships a library of blocks for Gutenberg. And one of them is a table of contents. So let's go ahead and install this module. So let's go to plugins and I will search for it. And I'll click on install now and I will activate it. And from the settings page, you wanna make sure that table of contents right here is activated. By default, all of the block types are activated. Now let's go to blocks and edit our post for one last time. And to add this table of contents in, let's create a new line and type in slash table of contents and select it with this purple icon. And we can change the label of the table of contents from here. And from the right, you can specify which headings will be shown in the table of contents. And you can also change the scroll settings, the content color settings, the gaps, the padding, the font, and also the styling as well. So padding and margin list. Then if we click on update and view our post, we can see our table of contents. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about WordPress or Drupal, head over to webwash.net. And also don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.